Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Happy Sunday. Uh, today I'm doing another wandering ring pour, swipe, transfer, and then spin. Four, four techniques in one painting. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm using some uh, deco metallic colors. Most I'm going to use like three or four of them and two regular colors. So we're going to see how the shine and the and the cells work in this. But it's going to be I think it's really going to be great because the color combination I think is really going to go well with the black base. And that's what I'm using today. So I'll be right back. Let's get down on the canvas. All right, everyone. So today I'm back with another wandering ring pour swipe and transfer spin. A lot going on, huh? So um, I'll get right to it. My base coat is going to be my Artist Loft Soft Body in Black. I'm using Dick. Now I'm also, this is going to be another thing. I'm using mostly Deco Art Metallics. So this is Sapphire. Rose Gold. Emerald Green. And then I'm using two colors that are not. This is Soft Body White from Artist Loft. And this here is the, um, what is this color? I forget. Azo Yellow Lemon. A nice bright yellow. All right, so what I'll do is I'll flood the canvas with black. And then over on my other canvas over here, I'm going to do a wandering ring pour. Then I'm going to swipe with my cell activator. Then I'm going to pick it up and transfer it with my palette knife here. Transfer it over and then give it a spin. All right. So let's get to filling a couple of cups. All right. I think what I'm going to do is have some negative space. So this will be... Um, these are little 12 ounce cups, so I'm only gonna fill them up about eight ounces. But what I'll do is I'll layer them up and I'll do two layers of the colors in each cup. And if I need more than that, we'll go from there. Uh, let's see here. I think what I'd like to do is put in some of the sapphire. Rose gold. Emerald green. Some white. in the yellow. I think what I'll do this time is come back in with some rose gold. So now what I'll do is I'll do a wandering ring pour through here. Then I'm going to swipe it, then transfer it. All right, so now I'm just going to put a little bit of a runway here of my black. Not much. I'm going to start right here on the edge. There we go. Now I'm going to swipe through this. Bring it down just a little bit. Okay. 
Now I'm just gonna put some white cell activator on the back of this palette knife. All I do is I just kind of let it dribble around on the palette knife here, get it nice and coated. Get it all the way back here. And we'll go to the front. I just let the extra drip inside. And I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna swipe right up through the painting right up through the pour. Keeping the front end of my blade up just a little bit. There we go. What I'll do is I'll swipe through this little small section over here too. This way everything's getting a little bit of cells, some lacing, when I go to tilt it off. Next up is getting my base coat down. Now it's time for the pickup. So all I'm gonna do is pick up this canvas. I'm gonna get all or most of this painting on here by just scooping it up with a quickness. Letting it run onto the board. Like so. Lay it out here, right on its side. And the next thing I do is I come back over here and I pick everything up off of the board. here on its side over here. And I usually just pick up what's left off of the small palette knife and lay it up here on the edge. That's it for one. All right, next up is pour number two. Again, just a little bit of a runway here. Doesn't take much. Start right here on this edge, press lightly, come up through here. We'll start on this side, just 
just press lightly. Just gonna pick this up. You can kind of lift off the paint that you don't want, kind of like a magic eraser. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slightly tilt this down a little bit and back this way before I spin. All I'm going to do is just kind of pick it up. Kind of seeing where the weight is. All right. Now let's give it a spin. I think what I want to do is add that other cup and kind of widen this up a little bit. So what I had in my head is I really wanted to use the three cups, but I was worried about having too much paint. But I think I need, I need to make this a little bit wider. So what I'll do is I'll lay the initial scoop through here, right on top, probably, coming through here. And then I am probably covering up this black here. So kind of starting off here, bring it that way and then I'll scrape off what's on the big scraper and bring it over there too.
Much better. going to clean up these edges then I'm gonna bring you down all right guys here we are with the wet result really cool I love the movement in this love all of the wave pattern just really really cool let me bring you up here Hey guys, you thought we were done. I am going to, so with my Christmas store, I've been doing different things to sell. And so I started pouring over vases, 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 vases. <laughs> um, and then I put resin on it after it's done. So this is a great way that you could actually use up some of your leftover paints. So instead of what I'm gonna, instead of holding on to the colors, I'm just gonna fill up a cup here, 16 ounce cup, and I'm just gonna ring pour, you know, just pour right over top of it. All right, so let's start off with some of the blue. I think what I'll do first is use some of this black and just pour right over top of it. top of this. Gonna let that run down all right so it's pretty much stopped running so what I'll do is I will come back in about 20 minutes and I'll take a stir stick and I'm gonna scrape right underneath kind of helps prevent those drip marks so that way I have a little less to worry about scraping off and then after it's dry for a few days I will stick resin over top of this this should be done by the same time the painting is done and then I'll be able to show you both all right all right, so let's see what this all looks like dry. I'll be back. Okay, guys, here is the dried result. It's a little bit wet, but that's okay. 
Got some great lines in this. Love the negative space. I love the color combination too. Look at the lacing and how that's stretched out. So cool. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today. That is the dried result. It's a little bit wet around the edges, so I gotta be careful, but the coloring is really great. The gloss varnish is gonna really bring all the colors back to life, but got a really, really good result with that. So happy, so happy with that. And my impromptu vase. That really dried wonderful too. Got a nice running down here. So I'm going to give this a coat of resin probably on Tuesday, I think, cause I painted this on Friday. So I will, um, cause it's, all, it's already cured. This stuff's so thin. Um, so I'll put some resin on that. I'll show you guys when it gets all resin. I'm really excited about that. Also, this is the drive result from my last video where I swiped the entire painting and spun it out. Really, really love the effects that I got out of that. So I will be doing another one in, its, in the series. I guess it's kind of a series because I'm starting with smaller canvases and working my way up. So this is a little 14 by 18. So I will move up probably next will be a 20 by 24, unless I decide to go with a 24 by 30, we'll see. But getting a piece that's got all cells on it is really, really cool. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. I will see you next uh, Wednesday. Everyone have a great rest of the weekend.